What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today with my long overdue review of the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro in the Grinch colorway. This highly anticipated drop released on December 24th for 190 US dollars or $235 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Green Apple, Volt, Crimson and Black and this marks the first Kobe 6 that's received the Pro Tro treatment. So the original Grinch 6 was debuted by Kobe Bryant on Christmas Day back in 2010. And 10 years later, here we are, Nike Basketball has finally re-released these once again, but in pro tro form, meaning it's technically supposed to be updated with modern day technology. Though I've always been a decent fan of this shoe, I never actually owned a pair of the OGs. So safe to say, I'm very excited to have these finally in my collection. And enough talk, let's jump straight into the shoe and I'll break down all the details. So the upper of the Kobe 6, this is constructed using a very fine mesh, but fused all over the top, we have this snakeskin-like pattern. This not only gives it a very dope appearance, but it also increases the durability as well. You'll see that it sort of has a bit of a gradient finish, so it's a bit more of this green apple color at the bottom, and then slowly it becomes a bit more volt in the center. Colored in black on the side of the shoe, we have the Nike swoosh, and then the back heel of the shoe is covered in the synthetic patent leather. This patent leather has a very plastic feel to it, and then overlaid on top of this, we have this green colored TPU heel clip. This gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe, and we have Kobe Bryant's signature on the back in red. For the laces, the stock laces that these come with are done in this flat style in this volt color, but they also give you a secondary pair of crimson or red colored laces as well, which gives the shoe a whole different look, it gives it much more character and color. Underneath this we have the tongue. So the tongue is actually connected to the rest of the shoe, creating almost like a one piece booty like fit. The tongue itself is constructed out of mesh, but we have this honeycomb shaped foam underneath which helps in giving it some additional padding. The top of the tongue is constructed out of a volt colored neoprene, and then glued in the center we have this crimson colored Kobe logo. Taking out the insoles, these come with custom branded insoles, done in a combination of green and red which matches the upper of the shoe. And one thing I learned when I was researching for this review is that the insoles that they provide actually mold to your feet the more you wear them. So this isn't just your typical Nike insole, and if you look on the other side, it sort of has a look of styrofoam, but again, based off of what I've read online, this definitely molds to your feet the more you wear them and the more you break them in. So the upper of these Kobe 6s sits atop this green colored foam midsole. Within the midsole, but not visible to the eye, we have a zoom turbo unit underneath the forefoot, which is a much bigger zoom air unit compared to the OGs. However, the OGs did have a zoom air unit underneath the heel, but for the Pro Tro version, they've done away with it, and instead they've incorporated Cushlon, which essentially is a softer, more responsive, and lighter foam than Phylon. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole of the Kobe 6. And in this case, this is done in this green colored rubber. We have this snake inspired traction pattern that runs from heel to toe. To give it some nice contrast, we have the Kobe logo on the back heel in crimson or red. In the middle, sing directly atop the outsole, we have a blacked out carbon fiber shank plate to give you torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Kobe 6 Pro Tros. There's enough differences including the gradient pattern on the upper which is much more pronounced in the OGs, the changes in the tech in the midsole, and the overall tooling of the Kobe 6 has been slightly altered as well. I know a lot of you guys are wondering for my opinion on fit, and overall I'd say that these do run a little bit snug. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and for me I definitely recommend going up the half size to a 10 and a half. If you have narrow feet, I feel like true to size might be okay. And even if you have normal width feet, unless you want a really snug one-to-one -one fit, I'd also recommend going up the half size. So I'd say compared to the Pro Tro 5s, those ones I also went up to a 10 and a half. I'd say that the 5 is more snug than the 6. But when I tried on these 6s in my true size, there was absolutely no wiggle room at all for my toes. And even within like a minute of trying them on, I could feel the pressure of the upper just clamping on my toes. Next up in terms of comfort, so I'm going to be rocking these Grinches strictly for casual use, I'm not going to be playing ball in them. So from the perspective of a casual wearer, these feel pretty good on feet. The forefoot area with the zoom turbo, it is pretty stiff straight out of the box, and this is definitely an area that I need to break in a lot more. But I do got to say that the Cushlon on the back is super soft, and it feels really really plush straight out of the box. So overall I'd say that these are a pretty good shoe from a comfort standpoint, but I'm definitely looking forward to breaking them in so that both the zoom air underneath the forefoot and the insole itself will break in together. Finally in terms of the quality and craftsmanship standpoint, overall this was not bad. 
There's nothing too premium about this shoe. It's pretty much all synthetic materials, but that's kind of expected for a Nike basketball shoe. The build on mine was pretty solid. I had no major complaints. There weren't any glaring flaws or any significant issues that I had with my pair. So all in all, it was a pretty solid drop by Nike. With all that out of the way now, let's lace up these Grinch Kobe 6s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. The Grinch 6 is easily one of the most iconic and one of the most popular Kobe sneakers of all time. It's unfortunate that Nike made these so limited. I suspect the production was probably set prior to his death. And to be honest, the Pro Tro 1s and the Pro Tro 4s, they were definitely sitting in stores. So from a production standpoint, I guess you can sort of justify why they didn't produce that many pairs of these. But at the same time, it's pretty disappointing to see so many true Kobe fans go home disappointed. I'm in that same boat. I had to pick these up on resale, but either way, it is what it is and I'm glad that I have these in my collection. If you guys still don't have a pair for yourself, check out my Instagram in the next few days or weeks to come. I'm gonna be giving away a Kobe prize pack and one of those prizes is gonna be a pair of Grinch 6s. So stay tuned to my Instagram in the next few days or week to come. So with all that aside, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro and this Grinch colorway. Did you guys manage to grab a pair for retail? And if you didn't, did you accept your L or did you pony up the dollars and pay resale? Hopefully Nike Basketball will release more colorways of the Kobe 6 and fingers crossed it's not gonna be as crazy and as difficult to grab as this one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Be sure to check out my Instagram at sgo8, visit me on Twitter at sean.go and check out my website as well at seangoca So until next time, Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.